Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another day of Thankful Thursday. That's right, it's devotional time. Amen. Happy Thursday to you guys. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you decided to click on the video this morning and to just to, or this afternoon, and, and to um, come along and see what I had to say today about Thankful Thursday. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. If you are new um, to the channel, if you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that every single time that I do a Thankful Thursday video, you will get notification of it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with prayer. And again, my dis disclaimer, you guys, if you hear any extra noise in the background, more than likely, it's just my dog, Teddy, and he's just doing what he do. So we're just going to carry on with our devotional lesson for this morning. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start out with a word of prayer. Most gracious and everlasting Father God, we come before you this morning. We just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for another day. Thank you for another day of grace and mercy. Father God, I just pray in the name of Jesus that as I dive into this devotional on this morning, God, that you will go before me, that you will just allow your Holy Spirit to take over this devotional on this morning, God. I pray that my flesh will decrease and that your Holy Spirit will increase in me on today. And I pray that through these devotionals, God, that somebody's life is impacted on today, that somebody will think twice about their faith walk with you, and it will cause them to want to level up and to come closer to you on today. And God, I just thank you, God. It's not about me, but it's all about you. And I just thank you, God. I pray for the listeners on today. I pray for the sister or the brother that clicked on the video on today. I pray, Father God, that whatever they are standing in the need on today, God, that you will meet them, God, in their time of need, God. I pray, God, that whatever the issues and the cares of their heart is on today, God, that you will do just that. And we give your name all the glory, honor, and praise. And it is in your son Jesus' name we pray. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the blessed Holy Ghost, we pray. Amen. All right. So, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Thankful Thursday time, you guys. And of course, you know, Got my coffee. So good on this cold winter February day, the fourth day of February. And if anybody want to know, my cup says, with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19 and 26. So just another little inspiration on for you on today. That on this thankful Thursday, know no matter what you're going through, that all things are possible if we only believe and have faith in the Most High God. All right? All right. So let's keep it moving on today. And as you guys can see, I got on a little bit of colors today. Got my hair a different way today, you guys. Yes, God is good. He's blessing in all areas of my life. Yes, he is. All right, and you know, I got my little hearts and pink on today. It's just a way to let the love, you know, pour out in this video. Hey, we are in that month of, you know, as they say, pagan holiday, Valentine's Day. But hey, we should show love to each other every single day. So we're going to go ahead on and carry on with our devotional before Teddy decides to turn up, okay? All right, so this morning... Our scriptures will be coming from 2 Timothy um, 2 and 21. And we're also going to read 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter, verses 23. So we're going to start with um, 1 Thessalonians first. And of course, I have my Bible here. I have, I'm using my New King James Version Bible on this morning. All right. So again, our first scripture that we're going to start with is 1 Thessalonians the fifth chapter, 23rd verse, and it reads, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So again, I'm going to read that one more time. That's 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, verse 23. And it reads, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray 
God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So that was um, the first scripture. Now I'm going to flip over to 2 Timothy, the second chapter, and we're going to start at verse... Um, we're going to start at verse 19 all the way down to 21. So again, that's 1 Timothy, the second chapter, verses 19 through 21. You know what? I'm going to back it up. I'm sorry. We're going to start at verse 15 and work our way down to 21. All right. So it says, study to show yourself thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and vain babbling from and, and vain babbling, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Um, 17 and their word and their word will eat as as doeth a caner of whom is Heminus and Pella that word a word I can't pronounce y'all I'm sorry P H I L E T U S Philetus something like that who I'm gonna skip down to verse 18 who concerning the truth have erred saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrown of faith of of overthrown the faith of some verse 19 nevertheless the foundation of god standeth sure having this seal the lord knoweth them that are his and let everyone that nameth the name of christ depart from iniquity but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Verse 21, if a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. And that was verse 21. And I'm going to just go back and read 19 through 21 one more time. And it says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are only vessels of gold and of silver but also of wood and of earth and some to honor and some to dishonor verse 21 if a man therefore purge himself from these he shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work Amen. So again, that was 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy, the second chapter, and I read verses 15 through 21. All right. And of course, I have my Bible commentary that I'll be coming from as well to kind of help break down the scriptures. All right. So our topic today, you guys, this is a really, really good one. And I hope that if you are new, if you can go back and look at my videos that I've been posting on Thankful Thursday from the beginning, and it'll take you up to this point, and you're going to see how all of these devotionals that the Holy Spirit has given me, they all tie together to leveling up in our faith walk with the Most High God. All right, so our topic today is the anointing, no, sanctification brings the anointing, or you can flip it, the anointing brings sanctification. So the main thing that stick out is sanctification. Are we walking in a spirit of sanctification on today? It's not enough to say I'm a believer. 
It's not enough to say, I have faith. faith. You got to have works and faith go hand in hand. And then on top of that, you where's the sanctification? Because sanctification and the anointing makes a difference. This is what's going to really help to keep us while we're on our journey of leveling up in our faith walk with the Most High God. Okay? All right. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. And of course, you know, guys, I go to Google and before I go any further, please go back, read the scriptures for yourself. As I always say, I never want you guys to just, just take what I have read to you from my Bible. I want you to open up your Bible and I want you to reread the scriptures that I've given out to you on today because I don't want anybody to just go based off what I say. And again, I want you guys to play, pay very close attention to what I say in my devotionals to make sure that I am lining up with the word of God. Okay. All right. So moving right along. So sanctification, sanctification, that is a noun, is a noun word because, you know, it, it's a thing. Okay. The action of making or declaring something holy. The sanctification of bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. The action or process of being freed from sin or purified. The process of sanctification takes deliberate action on our part. So, again, when we come into salvation, you know, we're on our journey um, whether you are a new babe in Christ or if you've been saved for a long time. And it's like, okay, but have you ever been, do you feel like that your walk with Christ is that you have sanctification as an extra covering over, over your faith walk with God? Um, and remember, it says the process of sanctification takes deliberate action on our part so you have to want it it's like okay how bad do you want it it's um it's this song that um we used to i used to listen to and i think i still have the cd in the car can't think of the girl's name but it's called i need more jesus more of you i need more 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 jesus more of you i need so much more jesus more of you and 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 that's basically what we're what sanctification is god i don't want to just be saved i don't want to just have faith but i need your sanctification um power your anointing over my life because the anointing makes the difference when we say that we are christians when we say that we are followers of christ sanctification is going to keep you and sanctification is going to set you apart from the world is going to set you apart from your counterparts. So I could say, okay, I'm a Christian. And then there could be another um, young lady in the room and she's not where I am. But sanctification, the anointing, you're going to be able to see the difference in our lives. You're going to know who's for real and who's not for real. Why? Because of the anointing and because of the sanctification God's sanctification over our lives, you're going to be able to tell a difference, okay? So, <clears throat> moving right along. So, again, remember, the process of sanctification takes deliberate action on our part, okay? How bad do you want to be sanctified in the things of God, okay? And it says, the action of causing something to be seen, the action of causing something to be or seem morally right or acceptable. The term sanctification as used in the new covenant basically means set apart. So we want to make sure that we are set apart from the world, meaning we, we, we are in the world, meaning we, we have to live here because God hasn't come back yet and raptured us up to heaven. So just because we are in the world, you got to be separate, meaning you can't do the things of the world. We shouldn't be doing the things that the world is doing. We can't be participating in every single act that the world or is doing. 
you know, when we say that we are followers of Christ, when we say that we are believers, okay? And, you know, just where we are today, you know, we got to level up. We got to say, okay, God, Lord, I, we, so much is going on in the world today. God, I need so much more of you in my life. Like, you know, people are dying left and right. So much wickedness is going on in the, on the earth. You, it, it's hard to trust anybody nowadays. And it's like, God, I just want you. I need more and more of you. I need more of your anointing of your Holy Spirit just guiding my life. And so, like I said, we got to be deliberate. How bad do you want sanctification over your life? How, how bad do you want the anointing to be over your life? Because remember, sanctification that's, is, is, is keeping you closer and connected to the Father. Because when, you, when, God, when we have sanctification over our life or when we're sanctified unto the Father, the things that we used to think, the desires of the sinful desires of the world, we're not going to want to do those things anymore. Why? Because our minds have been renewed. Our hearts have been renewed. The desire to, to party and to drink and to do all these lawless things, we're not going to want to do those things anymore. All we're going to want to do is open up our word, read it, pray, just really, you know, do devotionals be a witness to somebody. Those are the things that we're going to want to do when sanctification is over our lives. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> of course, question of the day is how do you sanctify yourself? Somebody might say, well, okay, you're talking about sanctification. Well, how, how do I sanctify myself or how do I, what do I need to do to get sanctification or for God's um, anointing his Holy spirit to rest rule and abide over my life okay and it's basically making a conscious and willing decision to dedicate your soul your mind your heart and your body to god this decision must be one of will intelligence and affection so if you want to be if you want god's sanctification to be over your life if you want to be sanctified in the things of God, in the things of the kingdom of God, you have to make a conscious decision. Decision. You, it, you don't have to be in church. You could be right where you are as you're listening to this devotional and just say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father God, I want to be filled with your Holy Ghost. I need sanctification over my life. I need your anointing to do, to, uh, to just absorb absorb over my life on today god i don't want to walk on this journey without your sanctification over my life and again that's you willing to dedicate all that you are and all that you hope to be in the kingdom of god you're giving it to god my mind my heart my body my spirit my soul i give it to you on today father i want you to take to take control over my life and, but, and you got to believe that thing. And like I said, effective prayer. You got to go before the Father with, with a powerful prayer. You can't go whining, well, oh, Lord, please, God. I, Lord, I, I want to be sanctified, you know, but no, that ain't going to work. You got to come with authority, with power that the Holy Spirit has given us, fervent and you got to keep on praying and you got to keep on trusting God. You got to keep declaring it until you see a difference in your life. Until you realize that, oh, I no longer want to do those things that I used to do anymore. Oh, I don't have an urge to pick up that cigarette and smoke anymore. Oh, I don't have an urge to curse nobody out anymore. That's when you know you win the sanctification process. Okay, the anointing is starting to take over my life because the things that I used to do and I was on my on this faith walk, I don't have the desire to do them things no more. Why? Because sanctification has taken over our life. Okay, we're in the will of God. We're connected to the Father. Okay, and you went before him with a with with a um, fervent, effective prayer, asking the Holy Spirit. Okay, God, I need more, 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 and more of you in my life and in my heart on today. Okay.
So that's how we sanctify. That's how we, you know, we begin the sanctification process. Okay. All right. So it says sanctification is a lifelong process. Our sanctification is a moment by moment process that does not end until we leave this earth. So it ain't just a, a, a one hit wonder, something quick. No, it's something where as long as you stay in the will of God and as long as you are always pressing towards the things of the kingdom, sanctification is going to always it's a process you're gonna you're you you might start at the baby stage of sanctification and before you know it you're gonna be on you know a higher level of of your sanctification or the anointing just being over your life in concerning the things of god okay um all right so we're gonna break down um first thessalonians 5 the fifth chapter 21 through 24 according to the bible commentary really quick and i'm trying not to make my video too long we're rounding out 30 minutes but it just says that um paul's prayer for the thessalonian is that they may be sanctified in all aspects of their life of their life spirit soul and body so again like i was saying you is is you making a conscious decision decision to dedicate your soul, mind, heart, and body to back to God. And that's the same thing that, that the commentary says that Paul was trying to, his prayer was for the Thessalonian church, is that they would dedicate all, all aspects of their selves back to the Father. Okay? Every part of a Christian's life should bear evidence that he or she is set apart as holy to God. This will result in being blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christians are already saints in the sense that they have been set apart to God. Paul exhorts the Thessalonians to express holiness in their life so that the Lord would approve of their conduct upon his return. Blameless does not mean sinless but free from cause for reproach and, reg and regret. So you guys remember that on today. You know, sanctification, basically, it's not going to mean that we're going to be perfect. It doesn't mean that you're going to do everything right every single time. It just means that God, he sees your heart. He know where you are, and he know that you're trying to do the right things. He know that you, you have prayed the prayer, you're reading your word, you're studying, you're letting the love of Christ reflect in your life. You're not living a lie. You're not being a hypocrite to the things of the kingdom. And, you know, like I said, but it's free from causes, but free from causes for reproach and regret. That's what the process of sanctification is. Okay. So again, I encourage you guys, please take the time on this thankful Thursday. If, if you feel like, You've never been sanctified in the things of God. If you feel like that, you know, you're on this journey, but you don't know if you have the anointing over your life or not. You don't know if, um, you know, you've ever experienced sanctification. And like I said, sanctification is basically you're going to be able to tell a difference about yourself in the sanctification process. Things that you used to do or that you still had a desire to do when you were lit in sin, you're not going to want to do those things anymore. God going to deliver you from those things. Us as women, the way we dress, we're not going to be continuing to walk around with short mini skirts on, having our cleavage all showing, just disrespecting ourselves, our bodies, the temple that God has given us. We're not going to have a desire to do those things anymore. We're not going to be walking around cursing profanity, all amounts of just evilness coming out of our mouth. We're not going to have a desire to do that anymore when the anointing really is, is resting, ruling, and abiding over our lives. So I encourage you guys, please seek God on sanctification. Pray and ask the Lord, Lord, I, I, I'm not sure if I have it or not. I'm not sure if your anointing is over my life or not. But God, I want to be able to make a difference in the world. I, I want to be set apart from the rest, Father. Because remember, 
The road to salvation is why people come in all the time, but they don't stay. You're falling off along the way. Why? Because you're not walking in the spirit of sanctification. Why? Because we're not in the will of God. Why? Because we don't have an effective prayer life or an effective faith walk with God. So we got to make sure that we stay on that narrow path to the kingdom because he said he's coming back for the righteous. He said, be ye holy for I am holy. So we want to make sure that our life is reflecting the image of Christ. Okay. And, um, you know, like I said, please, if you haven't seen the other devotionals, please go back and listen to them. They are, it's going to just tie everything into what I've been, um, um, teaching and talking about, you know, as far as leveling up in your faith walk with God. Um, I encourage you guys on this week to just stay prayerful. If, if you're going through some things on this week and you just, you know, feel like get thrown in a towel and like, God, I can't do this anymore. I just want to give up. Don't give up because right when you want to give up, that means you're at, you're right at the edge of your breakthrough. So you just got to Stay focused, stay in your word, continue to pray throughout your day, okay? Don't give up. Now is not the time for us to turn our backs on the things of God. It, uh, the world make paint this, this false illusion that everything is grand and everything is great and you need to be on, on, on team lawless side. You might as well come on back into the world and do the things that we're doing. It's a lie. The devil is very deceptive. He is fooling people. He is causing the body of Christ to turn their backs on the things of God. Like I said, that's why we need to be sanctified in the things of in, in the things of Christ. We need to make sure that we have the anointing over our lives as a covering. Because that's going to keep us from turning our backs on God and wanting to go back and do things that we know is not right um, to do. So, um, you know, we just want to make sure that we stay focused. We want to make sure that we are doing exactly what God has called us to do. Um, I love you guys with the love of the Lord on today. Um, just, just please, you guys, be blessed. Find something to be thankful for on today. Demand, declare, and decree in the name of the Father the type of day that you will have. God has given us power and authority over the enemy. We do not have to accept what the devil, what the devil throw at us on today, okay? God, remember, praise is your weapon. Reading the word of God is your weapon. Prayer is your weapon on today, okay? So, Take control of your day. Take control of your mind. Take control of your thoughts in the name of Jesus. Let the enemy know, not today, Satan. Mm -mm. You better go find somebody else, somebody that's worshiping you and praising you to play on today, but you're not going to play on my mind on today. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me on today. What my cup says, with God, all things are possible. So we can't listen to the nagging Things that the enemy trying to whisper and say in our ear. We are victorious in the things of God on today. You will have a blessed day on today. Okay, sis? St be encouraged. Lift your head up. Comb your hair down a little bit. If you if you need some encouragement, if you're feeling low in your spirits, like I I listen, I'm just looking like this from head up, okay? I work from home. But sometimes we got to do a pick me up like, OK, Father, I want to feel good today. I, I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror and just be happy about what I see. Then get yourself up, dust yourself off, tell the devil he is a liar. Open up your front door and send him and all his enemies out your house, out your environment and tell him, no, not today. You're not going to be you're not going to defeat me in my mind on today, because guess what? I just took it before to the Lord. And I told him that I need sanctification. Thank you for sanctification, Lord. Thank you for your anointing over my life on today, Father. All right. So again, I am approaching. I am now at that 30-minute um, time frame that I have allotted for myself for my devotionals. Again, 
I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Please find something to be thankful for on today because it's what? It's Thankful Thursday. Hey, Thankful Thursday. Hey, we all can find something to be thankful for today. Look, y'all, the sun is shining outside. It's a beautiful day. It's cold out there, though. It's real cold, but it's still a beautiful day. You woke up this morning. You're in your right mind. You ain't in a hospital depending on somebody else to do things for you. You ain't on your deathbed on today. So, hey, thankful Thursday. You can find something to thank the Lord for on today. All right. Well, until the next time, thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. Happy Black History Month to you as well. Find something to, to learn something new on this Black History Month um, for the month of February as well. Um, I encourage you guys, and guess what? It's a lot of black history in the word of God. So you ain't got to go and find it somewhere else. Open up the book. You'll find out something about black history in the word of God. All right, you guys take care. Have a blessed day. Until the next time, grace and peace be unto you. Take care. Bye.